Now let's review this figure 21-47 that deals with aircraft hangars in accordance with uh, uh, NEC uh, 513.3 through 513.7. Uh, so you're looking at a number of sections there to get the overall picture. But let's start at the top of the illustration and permitted wiring methods uh, in hazardous areas in accordance with 513.4A as an apple. Then you see we have rigid metal conduit, IMC, uh, rigid non-metallic uh, uh, cables, uh, MI cable, MC cable. And then you have some exceptions when you're using the rigid non-metallic conduit. You have some exceptions there as you see. Uh, now, the, in, instead of cables, I think that's dealing with your rigid non-metallic uh, conduit with the exceptions to the rule there, so excuse me. Now, wiring methods that are not in the hazardous area, you could use metal raceways, MC cable, TC cable, MI cable, and any of the exceptions to 513.7a that you would review. So your key sections here is 513.4a, 513.7a and the exception. Now getting into the hanger itself, let's look at the receptacles to the left. If you fall within the class 1 division 2 area, then 513.3c1 says you use a receptacle for class 1 division 2, so you're going to go to 501.1 40 for those types of receptacles that are permitted there. And in the receptacles outside of the location, well, you can just have regular duplex receptacles and regular type receptacles. See. Now, the next thing, when you look at 501.3e, uh, uh, I believe it is, uh, then you're going to review the mobile uh, uh, stanchions, uh, rost rostrums, and docks and things like that, and they're class one division two because they're portable. You can roll them in and out of there. They're flexible. You can connect to them and uh, provide power. Or you could go where we have your portable floodlight and 513.10E1, you know, you can bring those in. And a lot of times, uh, you know, you can have a sniffer that will sniff if the area should become uh, you know, with a mixture of gas and vapors, uh, you know, so to speak. And, uh, you know, this kind of deals with, in a class one division one area is in the pit and also in the concrete. So if you're an electrician and you're running in that concrete, you're a class one division one area and you have to use wiring methods that are permitted for class one division one in 501.10a as an apple. And then when you come out of that concrete and you emerge, then when, you know, around within 18 inches there, you're going to have a seal. The seal. Uh, that's required. So we kind of pick up here then the areas. And notice if you had a receptacle that's located within that pit, then that receptacle is 513.4, and it has to be an explosion proof type uh, fixture, I mean, excuse me, receptacle. Rated for a class one division one location. So 513.3a kind of deals with your class one division one. 513.3b class one division two, and then you get into unclassified areas. So uh, like we've always stated, usually a is class one division one, then b is class one division two. Now that's uh, pretty well. Uh, constant. Once in a while it may vary, but most of the time that is a true thing. So wiring myth is under the floor and the note is considered a class one division one as outlined in 513.8a. And that's what this figure 21-47 is illustrating uh, what, how you would perform and wire in a class one division one Class 1, Division 2, or non-hazardous -hazard, area, sorry, uh, in an aircraft hangar.